we're at about uh, T minus an hour and a half to launch. Welcome to the Wildest Range Control Center. We're in the middle of launch operations, um, and what I'm going to do is sort of walk you through the um, uh, walk through the Range Control Center and walk you through the operation. Um, we're launching a sounding rocket, and the rocket contains an experiment called the Autonomous Flight Safety System. Um, we're demonstrating a first in the world uh, capability here, a capability to have a rocket smart enough to destroy itself if it's, about, if it's about to do something dangerous. This is the test director's area, and the test director at Wallops is in control of the entire operation. John Dickerson and the re, uh, range operation assistant today are uh, Jack Vieira, and their job is to orchestrate all of the activity in the control center so that we come together as one team. So the rocket, the payload, the safety, the surveillance, the communications, the radars, all of that stuff has to be coordinated up here. And it's John's job, the test director's job, to make sure all of that plays together so that we have one safe, successful launch. The area behind these doors is probably the most important area in the control center. Um, it's the area where we assure the safety of the mission participants and of the public. Safety room is the most important place um, for us to get right for every mission. Um, what happens in here is, is the function that protects uh, the public um, and the participants in the mission from injury from what we're doing, because what we're doing is inherently um, dangerous when we're shooting rockets. This room is the surveillance room. Um, for the public, this is probably one of the most important rooms um, because this is where we make sure that if you are out fishing, uh, we don't drop a rocket on your head. One of the coolest looking displays we have, this is the Pathfinder radar. And what we're doing here is we're, we're sweeping across and this radar actually looks out at the surface of the ocean to see if we can see ships. This is a display um, called the ASR-8. The system, you can see the little white lines there and uh, what each one of those represents an airplane. And obviously we want the airplanes to be out of the way of the rocket. So we have air traffic controllers here that help us watch the um, watch the airspace um, and help vector those aircraft if we need, if we need aircraft to move um, or if we have aircraft that are participating in the operation, then the air traffic controllers uh, help make sure that they stay safe and that they go where we want them to so we can you know, look for the ship traffic, which is their primary role here. Over here, <clears throat> we've got, um, this, this area is called data quality. Um, and the folks in here are responsible and are responsible for overseeing the ingestion of all the data that is coming into the control center that we use to understand the status of the launch. So primary functions in here are there's radar control and so what's going on here is this, this individual is responsible for all of the radars that we have tracking the, uh, the rocket as it flies. Back here we have a system called RADAC. RADAC is the system that ingests all of the data and does the, the mathematical processing necessary to turn radar signals into uh, positional data so that we know where the, where, the, uh, where the rocket is. What we're about to do is we're going to launch what are called test rockets. So what you're seeing there is the test director is using a video camera to scan the ocean immediately in front of the test rocket launcher so that we can make sure that there are no people or no boats that somehow would have escaped our radars or other surveillance assets. Test rockets are very small rockets. They're about, um, about five or six feet tall um, and not much bigger than this, actually, just a few inches across in diameter. Um, and the test rockets are designed to uh, make sure that all the parts of the range are working. Um, we believe that we've got uh, all systems green at present. Um, the range itself is clear, airspace and sea space, all the systems are operating nominally. Um, the payload um, has gone through a complete power-up. We're about a minute and a half away from launch. Um, for whatever reason, I can never sit down during launches. I like to stand up. Um, I don't know why. A nervous habit, I suppose. Five, 